What's up everyone, my name is Kyle, and if you've been following my build series, you know that I'm building a 1977 Honda CB550 race bike. I've gotten to the point now where I'm gonna start reassembling the engine, and I was in the garage taking some measurements to make sure that some of the components that are going back into the engine are within tolerance. Now I use a couple tools to do this, including a variety of micrometers and telescope bore gauges. In today's video, I want to show you how I use these tools and how you can get very accurate measurements for relatively cheap. I want to show you that you can get by with a decent set of tools and how you can use these to determine what parts need to be replaced when rebuilding an engine. If you're a hobbyist or you are just getting into engine building, this is something that you're going to need to know thoroughly before you get started. So if that's something that you're interested in, sit tight and let's jump into it. Now micrometers come in many different sizes and here I have a two to three inch and a zero to one inch. Reading a micrometer can seem pretty complicated, but it's actually pretty simple. The line that I'm pointing to here is what you're going to read first and each little line represents 25 thousandths of an inch. The edge of the thimble is what's pointing to the line and in our case this is 775 thousandths of an inch. Next up is to look at the thimble, and if you can see on the right, there's a number 5. That one line ahead of it is 6, or 6 thousandths, and so we take our first number, 775, plus 6 thousandths, and that gives us 781 thousandths. If you fall in between a number on the thimble, you always take the lower number. Now we're gonna take this one step further and measure down to the 10 thousandths. On a micrometer, there's what's called the veneer scale, and it's the lines that are on top of the barrel. You will then see that a line on the veneer scale will line up. This number then gets tacked on to your initial measurement. So what we get is 781 thousandths and 9 tenths. Now, let's do this in a real world situation. I'm going to measure a piston using my 2 to 3 inch micrometer. Using the same method I did before, let's grab our measurements. Now, because this is a 2 to 3 inch micrometer, this means that I'm going to start with a 2 and a decimal point. From there, I can see that the barrel is at 300,000 on the dot, maybe a little bit under. Looking at the thimble, it shows zero, so I'm going to write this down as zero, zero, zero. Now I look at the veneer scale, and I see that the one lines up, and I'm going to tack that one onto the end of our number. Now this number is super important, because I'm going to reference the manual and see if we are within spec, which in our case, we're totally fine. Let's talk about telescope bore gauges. Now for 2023, there's definitely some updated tools that will get the job done way faster than these. but. Since they're old and they still work perfectly fine, I think that it's a great way to measure the inner diameter of anything that's round. Now in this case, I'm going to be measuring a cylinder. Basically what I'm doing is I'm compressing both arms of the bore gauge and then releasing it into the cylinder. From here, I will lock it out and then slowly and carefully drag it up in the cylinder to get my measurement. Now this is just a transfer measurement because you're ultimately gonna be measuring this distance with a micrometer, just like you learned in the last part of this video. I'll do this a couple times on two different sides of the cylinder, at the top and at the bottom to get my measurement. Now this definitely takes some practice and something you get better at every time you do it. So we've come to the end of the video and I hope you've learned something. I know that this information was really useful for me when I first learned it and I hope that I could explain it in a way that wasn't too complicated. If you're new here, please hit that subscribe button and the like button, it really helps with the algorithm. And if you're an existing subscriber, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. But until next time, see ya.